Hi everyone, this is the tutorial for Hello by Group Love. If you want the guitar version, you can follow these chords or you can actually go to the video. There's a link in the description for that. Let's get stuck in. So the introduction has three chords spread out over four bars. The first chord is a D flat major. And the inversion that I believe they use on the track has an A flat, D flat, and an F at the top and we have octaves of D-flat, and they sustain that for four beats. One, two, three, four. After that, it goes to a G-flat major chord. So we have in the right hand, G-flat, B-flat, D-flat. In the left hand, G-flat octaves. And we hold that for four beats as well. The third chord of the introduction is a B-flat minor. In the right hand, F, B-flat, D-flat, with B-flat in the left hand. And then finally, it goes back to that G-flat major chord. So let's go over all four chords in order. D-flat major. One, two, three, G-flat major. Two, three, B-flat minor. One, two, three, G-flat major. One, two, three, four. That is just once for the introduction before the verse kicks in. The verse has a chord progression that loops around four times, and those chords are D flat major that you sustain for two bars. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It then goes to an E flat minor chord. B flat, E flat, G flat in the right hand with an E flat in the left, before resolving to a G flat major. So the D flat is held over the two bars, E flat minor for one and the G flat major for one. Here it is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We play those chords four times for the verse. Just before we look at the next part of the song, if you're interested in getting the chord charts for most of the videos that I put on YouTube, including songs like this, then head on over to Patreon, there's a link in the description. You can get the chord charts for, for most of these songs. You also get lots of other perks such as your name on the screen like these guys. You also get early access to a lot of my content that I make, plus a lot of tips and tricks for guitar and piano. Anyway, back on with the video. The pre-chorus, very similar to the verse. We play once round the same chords. So the D flat for two bars, E flat minor for one bar, and G flat for one bar, however, when they repeat that, they play the D flat as normal, the E flat minor as normal, but instead of a G flat major, they make it a G flat dominant seven, which is this, where they add in an E natural above it. Technically F flat, but I'll not get into the theory, basically an E natural. So the second time round that pre-chorus we have D flat major, E flat minor, and then that G flat dominant seven. The chorus is the same as the introduction in terms of the chords. As it's quite a lively part though, I recommend coming up with some parts, kind of some different rhythms. It's quite difficult to hear on the track exactly what the piano player does, but you can kind of come around with it. Here's my idea for what I would do. So here's D flat major. G flat major, B flat minor, G flat major. So it's coming up with like a, a nice lively pattern just to match what they do on the track. That chorus is two times round. After that, things start to repeat. There is a second verse, which is exactly the same as the first verse. So that's D flat twice, E flat minor twice at uh, once, and G flat. You then repeat that two times. So unlike the first verse, which is four times round, the second verse, you just play it twice. It then goes to a pre-chorus, which is exactly the same as the previous pre-chorus. Then we go to a chorus, which is exactly the same as the first chorus. And then there is like a bridge kind of outro part, which is a bit different. We have D flat major for two bars, then a B flat minor chord, then a B major chord, B natural major which is F sharp, B, D sharp, and then a B in the bass. I'm gonna play that part now for you. So we have D flat major. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. B flat minor. B natural major. And those three chords loop around 
four times to finish the song. And there we go, fantastic song by Group Love. Um, really enjoyed this one, it was really good. So if you're interested in getting the chord charts and the structure for songs like this, then head on over to Patreon, like I mentioned earlier in the video. However, please like and subscribe, it takes a lot of effort to make these videos, so um, I'd really appreciate it if you could just, yeah, give it a click and uh, show your support. However, thank you very much for watching, I shall see you in the next video.